to watch this. Um, I just want to say a huge thanks to the PW ladies who are involved in um, making and distributing our what we've entitled our blessing block boxes uh, to each and every member and lady in our four congregations and member of our P members of our PW who maybe don't just come to our churches but we love having you um, at our PW. Um, it's taken a lot of time and effort. I've done very little um, so thank you so much for all your talents and efforts and uh, the Lord knows that and I thank you and appreciate it. I just want to pray before I start. Dear God, I thank you Lord for your love. I thank you Lord for this time of year when we can celebrate you coming to this world. Lord, I thank you that you seem fit to come to this world for us. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the plan of salvation and bless us all now in Jesus name. Amen. So today I want to look at Mary and as you all know, we've had a wee son over the past uh, couple of days and we're absolutely thrilled and delighted and thank you to all of you for your, um, your, your well wishes to us. And as I was expecting over the last couple of weeks and uh, as, as I've had Aaron, I kept thinking of Mary and Mary was really on my heart as to what she went through and we can learn so much from this inspirational woman in the Bible the mother of the Messiah, uh, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And just a couple of thoughts of, on Mary. Uh, she was Jesus' mother. She's one of the most recognised and influential uh, people in the Bible. A miraculous story uh, where a young woman was told that she was going to have the saviour of the world. And number one, she trusted God's word and guidance for her life. Uh, yes, we are told she was afraid, and naturally so. I think anybody would, if an angel came to you and told you you were having a baby uh, outside of marriage and um, you were married, going to be married to someone else, so naturally, how would you not be afraid? Um, 
but as she pondered it, as she thought it in her heart, um, she, she turned it to praise uh, for what was God was going to do. Um, despite it all, she decided to trust in God and his plan for her life. And she says, I am the Lord's servant. And many of you can truly say, and I'm speaking to myself included, that I have said, Lord, I'm your servant. Do what you want with me. Um, no matter what it is, I surrender my life to you. She continued to praise God uh, despite um, what was going on and, and the difficulty she knew that she may um, come across. And Luke chapter 1, and you can look at it in your own time, uh, verses 46 to 55 is entitled Mary's Song of Praise. And I'd read it here, but I'm restricted to time and sending this to Charlie and uh, how big the video is to send. Um, no matter what our trials and struggles, and we all have them, but we must continuously, actively praise God. We have to find something to be thankful for because we have so much to be thankful for, despite our trials and despite our difficulties. And Mary done this and it's clearly uh, seen in Luke chapter one. Number three, Mary's suffering draws her closer to God. And like me, you might, mightn't have thought much about Mary's suffering, but she had to watch her child grow up, um, be ridiculed, be crucified, died. Her suffering must have been immense. Like any human mother, we hate to see our children going through struggles or difficulties. Our Eliana going to play school was a massive thing for her. And for the, that week or two, it was just really uh, difficult as a, as a mom. And that was only something small, really, in comparison to what Mary faced when she seen what her son Jesus had to go through. But this brought her closer to God. Uh, she knew of God's plan. She trusted in his will. Um, and she gained that strength from trusting in God and knowing um, he was in control of every situation for her son. She trusted God in the unknown, as I've already said, number four. Although her path was unknown, she su surrendered and trusted God from the very time she was told that she was going to have this baby. Um, she she trusted in God. Uh, the greatest test is to trust God in the unknown. Um, and sometimes we look at our lives and yes, the path seems clear, but sometimes it's not. The road seems very windy and we don't know what's going but if we surrender and trust in God, God, I know you have a plan for me. If we read his word, uh, talk to him, pray to him, he will reveal his plan for each and every one of our lives. No matter how old we are or how young we are, uh, if we trust and surrender to him, he will show us the way. And lastly, number five, Mary surrendered to God's will. Uh, her whole life was surrendered to God from, from that time she was told. And obviously God knew her character and um, if she would have um, tried to control what God was doing, if she had took over control, you know, it might have been a different situation of what God had planned for her. Uh, but Mary trusted, uh, she trusted God uh, to take over, to take over her life. Uh, she fulfilled his purpose uh, for her life on earth of um, having Jesus, um, raising him. He's the saviour of the world and his ult God's ultimate plan that he would die for our sins. You know, at the close of this year, my prayer is for you that, number one, you trust and know God as your own and personal saviour. You've dedicated your life to him. You've asked for the forgiveness of those sins and you uh, walk closely with him. And number two, that you rely on him for your daily strength uh, to know his plan uh, for your life so i trust you have a lovely christmas and um, enjoy this next song that's coming up and the words that are in it and um, and just you know and just hope you enjoyed those couple of thoughts about mary we wish you a happy christmas and we really hope we can meet together in the new year
Would someday walk on water Mary, did you know That your baby boy Would save our sons and daughters Did you know That your baby boy Has come to make you new The child that you've delivered Will soon deliver you Mary, did you know That your baby boy Would give sight to a blind man Mary, did you know That your baby boy Would calm the storm with his hands Did you know That your baby boy Has walked where angels trod When you kiss your little baby Then you've kissed the face of God Mary, did you know The blind will see The deaf will hear The dead will live again The lame will leap The dumb will speak The praises of the Lamb Oh, Mary, did you know That your baby